This is Earl Nightingale. Occasionally, a strange sight is seen at sea. The wind, the tide, the surface ice will all be going in one direction, but moving majestically against these forces will be an iceberg. Now, the reason is not hard to find. We see only a small part of the iceberg. Deep down in the water is the base of the iceberg, where it is controlled by more powerful, deeper currents. Strength of character is the powerful current that keeps us going in the right direction. You know, people are like icebergs, big ones and little ones. The little ones, which float on the surface, are subject to any wind or superficial current that happens along. They go first this way and then that, along with all the other things which float on the surface. Their roots don't go deep enough to be gripped by the deep, powerful currents that will give their lives direction and purpose. These people lack a meaningful philosophy of life. I think everyone from time to time should ask himself, where am I going? Am I living in such a way to bring lasting, important benefits to myself and those who depend upon me? Am I honestly proud of the job I'm doing and the manner in which I've been conducting myself? I think more people should realize that each of us needs a settled purpose in life, an aiming point toward which to work. In this way, knowing that by doing our very best every day, we will reach the point on which we have set our compass. In this way, we can sail along on course regardless of the winds which may come up, and we need take no notice of the flurries of unrest, indecision, and short-term expediency we see about us. It's the long-term profit which is the lasting profit, and by going first this way and then that, we will ultimately arrive nowhere. We'll find ourselves eventually right back where we started, while the big icebergs, with their roots in the deep currents, have long since disappeared over the horizon on the way to their goals. As Carlyle put it, a man with a half volition goes backwards and forwards and makes no way on the smoothest road. A man with a whole volition advances on the roughest and will reach his purpose if there be even a little wisdom in it. He also said, the man without a purpose is like a ship without a rudder, a waif, a nothing, a no man. Have a purpose in life, and having it, throw such strength of mind and muscle into your work as God has given you. You might try to remember the story of the large iceberg which moves along with the deep underwater current even though the surface waves and ice are moving in the opposite direction, and it's a good story to pass along to the youngsters and to your associates. A good way to start is to try to become as good at what you are now doing as it is possible for you. If you're a housewife, make up your mind to become one of the best. If you have a meal to cook, try to make it outstanding. No matter what your job happens to be, it will take on dignity and meaning if you do it as well as you possibly can. Any other attitude can only result in our developing a poor opinion of ourselves and in dissatisfaction and frustration. Becoming outstanding at what we do is a purpose worthy of any man or woman and will result in our developing the deep roots we seek. It's something to think about. T.T. Munger wrote one time, There's no road to success but through a clear, strong purpose. Nothing can take its place. A purpose underlies character, culture, position, attainment of every sort. Thank you.